Before we start though, yep. is this the best shoe of all time? The best shoe of all time? Best shoe of all time. Is this the best shoe of all time? All time. That's tough, bro. That's so tough. No sure? Nah, I'm not sure. Ah, uh, better, 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 better question, better question. All right. Is it the best Kobe of all time? Oh, the best Kobe best of all Kobe. time? Best Kobe. Yes. Yes, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Fro from Pure Kicks. Back at it again with another performance review. And today, we are talking about the Kobe NXT AD NXT. 360, I forgot the name of the shoe because we have so many of these now. It's AD360 NXT. Let's get it. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have Colby's fourth shoe post-retirement. We have Kobe ADs, we had the AD Mids, I believe they were called, mm -hmm. the AD NXT, and now the AD NXT 360. And my oh my oh my, is this a fire shoe. The shoe looks incredible. It reminds me a little bit of an AstroTurf, but I like AstroTurfs, so I'm good with you, and you play well. So let's get straight into it. Now I am super, super excited to get straight into this shoe, and this shoe is incredible. And one of the reasons why this shoe performs so well is because of this bad boy right here, the cushioning system. The cushioning system in the Kobe 360s is composed of Nike's latest foam, which is known as React. And they've also paid homage to its predecessor, Lunalon, and they've juiced it up in this sexy drop in midsole. And oh my gosh, this right here, Timmy, this right here, right here, this is no joke, people. This is no joke. I thought my favorite cushioning system was Zoom, has full been. length, to has be been. exact. And this has changed the game. What are you telling us, Flo? Completely changed the game. I'll go as far as saying it's revolutionized cushioning. React is incredible. And the balance with the Lunalon and the forefoot as well is sensational. And let me get into the science of it and why I think this is so nice. So what they've done here, we have the pink parts, which represents the Lunalon, and the yellow parts, which represent the React. Now the React, cushioning is mainly here in the heel and you sit in it almost like a bed and it's so comfy and the Lunalon is here in the forefoot and it's a bit firmer than your normal Lunalon but it feels absolutely amazing because of how low to the ground it is and how responsive the cushion system is. The balance of having a nice plush foam in the heel and a firmer foam in the forefoot feels incredible and it's not super bouncy, it's not overly comfortable, it just feels perfect the reason why i love this so much because it feels amazing and once you start playing you almost forget you have clouds on your feet and this is how good this feels it feels absolutely incredible so without rambling on too much as to how amazing this drop in midso is people straight 10 out of 10 straight 10 out of 10 facts now moving on to my next favorite part of the shoe the traction now this traction pattern I like to call it the Killmonger skin traction pattern. Heard it here first. <laughs> What's your goodness? Iraq. I took life from my own brothers and sisters right here on this continent. Now, how did Killmonger skin perform? It was absolutely incredible. Straight out the box, Brixton, for some of you guys that play in London, you know that court is super dusty. It is incredibly dusty. And that's where I took these out first and it gripped the floor so well that it didn't even need to wipe the shoe that many times. Timmy, you saw me play. I was slipping and sliding. Was this good. shoe took care of me. Clean courts, don't have to even worry about that. The shoe has got you covered. The only thing, the only thing about this traction pattern is that the individual nodes stick out the shoe so they're not as durable because they start to wear away a little bit. That's why I can't give this traction pattern a 10 out of 10. But in terms of playing basketball and not having to worry about wiping your shoe regularly, not having to worry about slipping or sliding, this traction pattern has got you covered. Would I take these outdoors? I would definitely not take these outdoors. Translucent outsole, try to kill yourself. <laughs> Don't do that. No. Even if the shoe comes in a solid rubber option, I personally wouldn't take these outdoors because of how the individual nodes stick out. I would imagine them to wear away very quickly. So outdoors, these for me are a no-go, but indoors, 
you already know what to do. With all of that being said, the traction for me comes out at a strong nine out of 10. Strong nine. The shoe's doing bits so far. Moving on to the materials in the Kobe 360. Now this is where the shoe actually gets its name. What we have is 360 degrees flyknit. It is a shoe entirely made out of flyknit. It's basically a sock, but it doesn't feel like one. It feels absolutely amazing. Now the React cushioning, I already said, was incredibly comfortable. And that paired with the uh, materials of the shoe as well, it's a fantastic balance. The way they combine together, this for me is probably one of the most comfortable shoes, if not the most comfortable shoe I've ever played in. I'm looking over here, even though I have no idea what I'm looking at, because I'm thinking, but this shoe is cozy. The Flyknit is cozy, React is cozy, I love it. And the thing that I love most about the shoe, with it, when it comes to the materials, is the tongue. This is the first time I have ever played in a Flyknit shoe and I haven't had to worry about lacing the shoe too tight because it might pinch that damn nerve I have in my foot. So with all of that being said, the materials come in at a strong 9 out of 10. Strong 9 out of 10. Super cozy. Ah. Now after talking about the materials, it only makes sense to move on to the fit of the shoe. And the fit of the shoe is also very, very good. You've got padding on the inside of the shoe, which do an amazing job of holding your foot in. Straight out the box, the shoe requires minimal breaking time. Flying it breaks in instantly and it conforms amazingly around your foot. The fit in the shoe is sensational. Really, really good fit. I am a size 10, got myself a size 10. The shoe fit perfectly fine. Straight out the box, minimal breaking time. I also have wide feet and the shoe conforms or takes care of any type of foot shape you have. So there's nothing to worry about. Get your normal size, whether you're wide or narrow, the shoe's got you. Great fitting shoe. With all of that taken into consideration, the fit of the shoe comes out at an eight out of 10, which is also a very, very strong. Now last and definitely not least, talking about the support in the Kobe 360s. Now this is where I thought the shoe wasn't gonna perform as well. But again, the shoe surprised me and I'm guessing many other people that played in the shoe as well. The support is very, very good. It's a support system you put on and you don't have to worry about your ankle rolling in the shoe. The support in the shoe comes from this external TPU heel counter, the outrig of the shoe which provides your lateral support and then again, the way the shoe locks your foot down. The support system in the shoe is absolutely brilliant. To prefer support system always gets the job done don't have to worry about it. So with all of that being said, the support in the shoe comes in at a strong eight out of 10. Strong eight out of 10, very good support. Now taking all of those scores into consideration, the Kobe 360s comes in at an 8.8 .8 out of 10. This is now officially Pure Kick's highest rated shoe. I've got no silver and I've got no gold. I absolutely loved playing in the shoe. I don't see myself taking my foot out the shoe even when I'm going to sleep. This shoe is absolutely incredible. And for the past couple of weeks, when I've been looking at the scores of the shoe, I've had a hard time looking for things of the shoe that aren't as great because I sound like I'm breading the shoe highly. But the shoe is absolutely amazing. The only thing that I don't like about the shoe is the fact that the outsole is wearing away. But that happens with every shoe. So I guess it has no imperfections. Is it perfect? <laughs> Jokes aside, is it perfect? Of course not. But the cushioning, the traction, the materials are absolutely phenomenal. To put all three of those things in one shoe to this high of a standard, Nike, you guys have smashed it out the park. Absolutely incredible job. Well done to you guys. And that is it from us. Thank you again for watching this performance review. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button and also let us know what you guys think of the Kobe 360s in the comment section below. I thought this shoe was fire. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below. And of course, follow us on our socials at 
purekicks.ig on Instagram and at purekicks underscore TW on Twitter. And lastly, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell next to the subscribe button too, so you can be notified whenever we drop anything lit from Pure Kicks. Anything lit, make sure you're one of the first to see that good stuff. So hit subscribe and hit that bell too. That's it from us. This is the Colby AD NXT 360. It's your bro Flo from Pure Kicks. Let's get it.